Anyway, this is Jolie here for Seconds Out, back with Derek Osazi. We have another fight. Of course, we spoke recently. We had a fight yeah, that did. got pulled off not long before it happened, didn't it? Well, yeah, it was uh, literally was about, I found out about 11 o'clock on the morning of the show. It was literally, and it's funny, normally when I box in London, um, I normally go down that the night before. But for this one, I just felt like, God, uh, you know what? Let's just go down there same day. So we was literally getting ready to leave Nottingham about 12. Um, and then I got the phone call from my manager that, yeah, that all the shows are off, obviously due to the Queen's passing. So, um, yeah, annoying, frustrating. Kind of been there before. Do you know what I mean? I felt like maybe boxing probably should have been cancelled that weekend. Um, I felt like it still would have been a fitting tribute uh, to the Queen if the shows went ahead, just like other sports went ahead. Um I think it's it's quite difficult to cancel or postpone a boxing show. It's unlike football or rugby where you can cancel a match and just sort of kind of replay the fixture at a later date. With boxing, there's so much that goes into it. Obviously, we're all self-employed. There's a, a considerable amount of loss of earnings, not just for boxers, but yeah. for obviously for these events, our weeks, months in planning, um, everyone else who's involved in the show, that's, that, 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 that's making money, do you know what I'm saying? Or has got income so um yeah it was a bit it, it, it was a, a bit annoying i understand why they did it but at the same time i don't understand um but but yeah it was, it was an interesting one but luckily got a new date um in a couple of weeks so just working towards that how did it affect you because we've seen all these events cancel but you haven't seen how it affected people individually personally yeah it was i can't lie to you it was annoying. Joe's you know funny. If we had spoke about this maybe like a few days after, I think you probably would have got a much more hostile response to that question because um just frustrating. Um, like I said, with all due respect to the Queen, um, I just feel like with all the other sports that went on, like you know, rugby, I think cricket went on, um, F1, you know, it was more fitting tributes. Um, and I felt like they could have done the same with boxing. Obviously, understanding the gravity of, of, you know, boxing, you just can't be cancelled. You make weight. In terms of how it affected me and obviously a lot of other boxers, your camps cost money. So, obviously, you lose money that you spent on your camp that you obviously you're not going to recoup back. You lose earnings because you're obviously you're self-employed. Um, but for me, it was just, other than obviously the financial side, it's literally, it's people don't understand how much it takes out of you to train towards a fight, get ready for a fight, you get your weight down, you hope to peak at the right time and then it's cancelled or postponed. Like, uh, you know, to the average person would be like, yeah, more time to prepare, but it's really not. It can have the the adverse effect, which is like you peak and then you kind of have to bring yourself down again, let your weight go back up again. But then you, in that time, you've got a short space of time to get some more sparring in again. And then taper down again to try and peak again. It's just, it's a funny one. So yeah, it, it, it was frustrating. It was annoying. I felt like my head my head went for a few days. But after that, I just felt like, yeah, there's nothing you can do about it, man. So, <laughs> on another, so yeah. So October the 8th, Nottingham. How long yeah. was it before you realised it would be like not long after? Um, Yeah, how long was it until you kind of could then breathe? Okay, all this work hasn't gone into absolutely nothing once again. Yeah, it was um it was like last week. So probably about ten days after uh the initial show was cancelled. Um and I'll be honest at first it was really my manager because um it was just like obviously with being on the small horse scene as well right now. It's so much hassle in terms of like selling tickets and having to refund tickets and then selling tickets again and stuff. And so like I remember my first manager, my first first manager told me about it. It was like, oh, I'm going through this again and this and that. Not even thinking about the training side. You know, with boxing, there's a lot more that goes into it, more than just training and fighting. Um, but uh I guess it's it's a uh, I'm look it's looking forward to it now because I actually haven't boxed in Nottingham since. 2018. I've only boxed there. I made my debut in Nottingham. I had my third fight there and I haven't boxed there since. So um, I guess it's nice to sort of kind of uh, box at home, you know. Nottingham's a place I call home now as well. So yeah, man. 
interesting, yeah, because it was such an interesting weekend with um contrasting yeah. opinions and everyone whoever like was on their specific side, they were so passionate about why it should be cancelled or why it shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's funny because I, I didn't really see many passionate, maybe you can enlighten me. I didn't really see many passionate opinions from the boxing perspective of why it should be cancelled. I felt like everyone was just treading carefully. No one wanted to to be like say like it should go ahead and come across as disrespectful. Because obviously we understand the reasons why they felt they need to cancel it. Obviously, due to the Queen's passing. Um, and you know, when no one wants to sort of kind of um uh diminish or belittle the the reason why it was postponed. I think it was just that personally, I think the board just should have maybe um pondered on it a little bit more. I felt like they just jumped the gun and followed football. Because yeah. the football cancelled their fixtures for that weekend. I think they thought that all other sports would follow. Yeah. I think there were bits of maybe they didn't realise that other sports still carry on. Like I, I was gutted for the Clarissa Shields uh, Marshall fight. Yeah, like, exactly. That show was gonna be like I remember sitting there on Saturday, I was peed off about my fight by thinking, yo, <laughs> like imagine them as well. Like that, that should have been like just a, a history making show that should have went ahead. Do you know what I mean? Luckily it's been, you know, rescheduled. Um, but yeah, like what what was the what was most of the people that you spoke to? What was their views on it? So, people, uh, the thing is, all fighters were obviously saying it shoots yeah. in the head. For the other side, it was it was all just like it could look so bad, it could look so smelly if mm. all, all the sports are cancelled. And, and don't get me wrong, football was went ahead on the Friday, but that was because they almost had no choice. It was just before yeah, yeah. these things. But if football cancels and the the public eye, like the general public, doesn't have yeah. the best opinion of boxing already, we see it with like GMB when Eddie Hearn goes on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. If if boxing then uh continues while every other sport doesn't, it it just makes it look bad. And I think yeah, the the people of the other opinion was just the Queen's died. It's out of our control. It it doesn't. Yeah. It's not yeah. fair. But it has to. It just has yeah. to happen. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like the British Board of Boxing, or just boxing in general, need to understand that um, it's not just it's one thing just saying that yeah, our sport's different. Is actually sort of kind of putting that statement into action. Our sport is different. And I think people, even if boxing was the only sport that was left standing that weekend, I still don't think it would have been a massive issue. Okay. People will understand that, you know, football, rugby, all these other sports that have set amount of fixtures in a season. Boxing doesn't even really have a season. Not you know at what I'm all. saying? An event, a show is put on months, weeks in the process. You know what I'm saying? Like, the moment a show gets cancelled or postponed, there's a risk that that show may not happen again if the venue's unavailable. If said people or promoters have invested money in that show, you know, um, lose a certain amount of money, they may need to, may not have the finances to put on a show again. We're talking small. or You're thinking of the people involved with the whole promotion of it, the, the boxers. I feel like I'm taking that into consideration and I think sort of kind of maybe someone just coming out and explaining the nature of boxing and maybe the reason why it's not so straightforward to just postpone a show because people won't understand because it's like when you speak to some people and you and you 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 sort of kind of break it down it's like oh yeah that that does make sense so footballers just going to play next week like a fight is is it's a lot harder so and like I said I think it could have been you know a lot more fitting tri- like the tribute the sports that did go ahead I think they still honored um the memory of the queen like quite well do you know what I mean um and I think what 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 happened with a lot of the things that were changed and stuff and things that were postponed the things that were cancelled during you know the the mourning period for the queen I felt like it was just kind of forcing people to mourn and what it does instead of honoring um honoring her memory for some people you create a resentment towards the whole thing that is the funeral, which I feel like is kind of even unfair on her. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. then people are like, 
people were talking about bank holiday more like it felt like a lockdown. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and all the things that was cancelled and like just a lot of the inconvenience that it causes where it shouldn't even be an inconvenience. Do you know what I'm saying? Like life sort of still, still went on to a certain extent, meaning that it wouldn't be so much of a problem to some people. Um, yeah, that's my view of it, really. Yeah, I think most people watching will be able to understand where you're coming from because yeah, say it's what it's way different to anything else. But in terms of how that's affected you this weekend, you mentioned it's it's been kind of a little bit of a an issue trying to peak at the right time. Yeah, yeah. What, what's gonna happen Saturday? Um. So for me, I've actually been alright because I pretty much like what the fight was cancelled on Friday. I had Saturday and Sunday off like I usually would do anyway and then went I was straight back in the gym on Monday to be fair. Um, normally I'm in the gym twice a day but I was back in the gym once a day for the first week and I was back twice a day so I was still kind of sparring I was still fit my weight didn't go up too much so I think right now it's just sort of kind of just ticking over Yeah. Um, just ticking over towards then and yeah man like uh what happens on fight night, uh, the same thing that would have happened <laughs> on the 9th of September. So it just, yeah. So um, I haven't, I'm not too sure my opponent yet, but I've got a Mexican, so that's interesting. Well, the main thing is obviously you expected to win this, get the win and get back to yeah. winning ways so that either the end of this year or next year, you can then, then restart the journey, I guess. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, I think more of this... More of this fight was just like you said, just dusting the cobwebs off, getting the ball rolling, and hopefully just trying to pick up some momentum again. Like, um, I think that was a, a major fact. That's been a major factor for me. You know, I had my first 10 fights in under two years, and in the last three years, this would only be my second fight. So, which is crazy. Do you know what I mean? It's mad to think of my 10th fight. I was 25, and mm. I'm 28 going into my talk fight soon to be 29 <laughs> that's, nice. like, I feel like it's, it's crazy when I think of it like that like um, but I'm not in a I'm not in a hurry I'm not Still under young. pressure up any lost time I'm just you know it is I just want to get the ball rolling again get the momentum sort of kind of uh, uh, get the get the fire burning again for it do you know what I'm saying because I feel like when, when you've been training for this much and had that many failed dates and cancellations and postponed dates and stuff, um, it can start to, you know, start to, like, kill the the excitement and stuff for it. Yeah. It just makes it a little bit more routine. So, like I said, once this one's under the boat, then we look on to what's next, man. Yeah, we spoke in a bit more depth uh, last time out about yeah. the whole time out, etc. So everyone go check that out. We always seem to end up in a deeper chat than just boxing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Questions in our in our interview. Because you, man, it's, it's testament to you. You're good interviewer still. <laughs> Thank you, man. No, it's Thank good. Because there's certain people, there's certain people that say, you want to do an interview? And I just start, me. Uh, yeah, I've got to look after my son. <laughs> 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 Not that that's an excuse. That's, that came off really bad. <laughs> nah, it's, um, yeah. It, um, it is what it is. And obviously, Saturday is what it's all about. So, Thank yeah, you. Man. Thank you.